Monaco produced a Formula One Grand Prix that will likely end up toward the bottom of the 2018 highlight reel, save Charles Leclerc's spectacular brake failure and resulting smash with Brendan Hartley, and plenty of drivers have offered their opinion on the Principality as a Grand Prix venue. When the top six finishers all finish in the same position in which they started, there's a good chance you caught yourself nodding off and your eyelids were feeling heavier with each of the 78 laps that passed. Lewis Hamilton says the track should be extended or the layout revised. Fernando Alonso says fans should be given something back after what he called probably the most boring race ever. The history and heritage of Formula One is valued massively by fans, and the build-up to Monaco is always filled with images of Graham Hill, Ayrton Senna, and Michael Schumacher. However, the aftermath is also tediously predictable. Have the current F1 cars outgrown Monaco? What can be done to help the racing live up to the setting? It's a difficult one. Mercedes driver Valtteri Bottas told Auto Week. There's so much history with this track layout, and it would be a shame to shame it because it is so iconic. But on the other hand, with the current cars as they are, they're getting quicker and bigger, and overtaking is getting more and more difficult. It's a tricky one. I have mixed feelings about changing the track. Bottas hopes that this year's race and lack of any real competition at the top of the grid was just a blip on the radar, and that Monaco will always be a special, and competitive, date on the schedule. It's on the limit but I still love it, Bottas said. I still love driving there. The only negativity is the lack of overtaking. We've seen plenty of rich races also in Monaco but I think this year was unlucky also for the fans that there was not that much happening. <laughs> <laughs>